One of the simplest forms of rock protection is the nut. This is the selection of nuts that I carry guiding here in Joshua Tree, really just a small selection of the most useful sizes. They're called nuts because in the early days of clean climbing, when people were looking for alternatives to hammering pitons into the rock, um, people figured out that you could simply take a threaded machine nut, equip it with a wire, and slot it into constrictions in the rock to clip your rope to for protection. These have since been engineered to be optimal for use as rock protection, but we still call them nuts. Um, when I place a nut, I'm looking for a constriction that faces in the expected direction of pull, generally down, and I'm trying to place the nut such that the metal and rock come into contact as much as possible, which I'll demonstrate right there. That's a lot of surface area contact in a downward facing constriction. Once I've got it where I want it, I'll give it a tug to set it in place. I'll put away the rest of the nuts and if I'm leading this climb, I will now clip a quick draw or a sling to it and if the climb is traversing and I'm worried about the rope bending and generating drag, I might extend the sling before clipping it to my lead line. When my follower comes along to clean this piece, um, the simplest way to do so is simply to grab the sling or quick draw and whip in an upward direction. Generally, you want to make sure this is actually clipped to the lead line so you don't fling the whole thing off the cliff. And a quick upward whip will get that nut out nine times out of ten. If it's really set, like I was scared on lead and really yanked on it to make sure it wouldn't come out, uh, sometimes you can't whip it out. We have what's called a cleaning tool or commonly a nut tool to tap it, try to get it to move. That worked. Now let's say on lead I fall or really yank that thing in place. If you can't just bop it out by hand, you can look around for something to use as a hammer. You can use the nut tool as a chisel and improvise a hammer, maybe the biggest carabiner you have, the one on your belay device perhaps, and do that. There we go. That got it loose. Nuts are small and light and you can carry a lot of them and they're really useful. I'd like to show you two more ways to get more use out of a set of nuts. Um, one is consider not only the standard placement, which is the best, you get the most surface area contact against the rock generally if you place a nut sidelong, but you can also turn a nut like so and put the wide axis in a constriction in the crack. And now you have twice as many options with the same set of nuts. So I can place this nut like that in a vertical crack. Now also consider placing nuts in horizontal cracks. This is sometimes possible and again increases your options for protection. Um, but you need to really think about direction of pull. Watch this. So I'm going to do the placement on the wide axis since we're talking about that as well. See how I can slide that in there and that fits really nicely behind a constriction. This placement is great if the climb is going left or if I'm building an anchor where my master point is going to be over here. The direction of pull is this way. If I'm climbing to the right from here such that if I fall, I could fall over there generating a pull that way, that is not a good placement. The constriction is this way and a pull off to climber's right could actually dislodge this piece.